عربة مشاركة you were using terms like loan loan mm. so I became a little bit uh, uh, yeah. confused yes. is it uh, because yes. the law requires you to use loan, this loan is a conventional term, terminology of course in Islamic or participation side loan is by murabaha buying something on behalf of the customer and selling sell it oh, okay yeah so just lastly can i yeah please yeah please. okay so the last question which was of interest to me hmm. um you were looking at the the capital adequacy ratio, ratio. Uh -huh. and um, you were saying that comparatively you find almost lower in uh, islamic uh, uh oh, sorry participation bank compared to the conventional and when you look at the quality of your assets you mentioned something like high loan is it did you mention because in participation bank mm. the loan is higher than the conventional if i may look at your your slides uh the let me uh, recall the difference mm -hmm. uh, participation banks cannot invest in treasury bonds because treasury bonds are uh, based in interest. Yeah. The conventional banks since keep treasury bonds calculating the capital adequacy ratio those are having zero risk. Oh. Then uh, increasing uh, the required capital amount. So my, my, but, point, here, okay, my uh, point here was that the asset, you mentioned the word asset, and on your asset side, you are talking about share of loans higher. When you talk about loan, uh, yeah, I, I asset, think Prof was mentioning sorry, about sorry, the Murabaha yeah. side, isn't it? She, yes. Here, loan means Murabaha. funds uh, given by Murabaha. Murabaha yeah. mm -hmm. Loan means, in, in participation side, loan means hmm. Uh, funds given depending on Murabaha. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, thank you. So Maybe Prof, then, uh, thank you. Thank so, you, Mustafa. So, Prof, then the, the deposits, do you call it as participation deposits or investment, investment account like in Malaysia? Investment account. Investment, eh? investment or account. Or we yeah. say participation account. Okay. Participation mm -hmm. account. All right. So, any other questions, uh, please? Yes, please. Assalamualaikum. My name is Dathrim. I'm a low Salam. student, maybe, but I'm kind of interested in banking. I have two questions. The first question will be, what is the future of Islamic banking or uh, Katlam or uh, participation banks in Turkey? The second question will be, what are the measures to control how far do they comply with the Sharia? For example, in Malaysia, there are two boards which control. The first yeah. is the Sharia Council Board mm. under the uh, Central Bank, and the second is the uh, advisory board which yes. each bank has. So, Thank you. Uh, what are the measures of the Thank Turkey you. and uh, uh, Also, Mustafa and has asked about the, uh, the Sharia, Sharia board. Sharia board uh, yeah. Sorry, Mustafa. Uh, I missed you know. your question now. I will uh, answer both. Uh, in uh, Turkey, in government side, unfortunately, there is no Sharia board, either in Central Bank or in Capital Market Board. N because Turkey, uh, Turkey is a secular uh, country, uh, there is no uh, such uh, authority. Mm. But for uh, private participation banks, mm. they have boards called consultative board. Uh, it is not in the organization chart, but they have some scholars which they consult mm. before they issue something before they make a transaction. Uh, there are some famous scholars uh, which make consultancy to those participation banks. So the consultation board is basically the uh, yeah. advising on the Sharia issues, I guess. So please, uh, any other uh, questions? Yeah, please go ahead. Yeah. He's our student. Assalamu yeah. alaikum wa Actually, Doctor, uh, first, participation is equal to Islamic banking. And I'm as a customer, I want to save my money. I want to put my money just to save it, not to participate or to, 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 uh, 
to, to, to work as mudarib or uh, any kind of investment. So what do I have to do if I want okay. to put my money? In good, good question. Uh, don't uh, forget the other one, maybe if you have. Uh, of course, we didn't go in details about the fund collection of participation banks. Besides invest, uh, be, beside participation account, which is an uh, unrestricted uh, investment account, there is also current account, which is available also in uh, Islamic banks here. Current accounts depends on VDA uh, act or VDA contract. You can uh, uh, deliver your saving to the bank without expecting any return, but to get your uh, saving fully back. Uh, that is cur current account. Okay. All right. For Any, future, the, the previous uh, uh, colleague has asked yeah. about the future mm -hmm. of part. But Prof, he showed very clearly all the, the statistics for yes. the future, you know, very we impressive. Are uh, we are expecting uh, to grow. that uh, uh, Turkish uh, participation banks will grow uh, as Islamic banks in uh, Malaysia to 20 percent. Inshallah. Now it is 5, 6 percent. Inshallah. Welcome, Professor, my uh, old friend. <laughs> <laughs> this is Professor Saeed Welcome again. Welcome back again. I mm -hmm. wish you were with your Thank family. You. And then we could, Thank uh, you. Uh, I think first I would like to congratulate Turkey for moving ahead. And I think uh, you are already slightly ahead. When I heard participation fund for investment account, I think you, we used to discuss this. I think you are already slightly ahead. I just mm -hmm. completed a research on deposits an investment account mm. and we realize that we are still trapped in the same concept of deposit so if you stay away from it i think inshallah you will make some progress we are not making very much progress mm -hmm. but one thing i just want to understand more about turkey you know I, we went once i would say a beautiful country vibrant uh, colorful and enterprising mm. I, I especially the the the, the souk now you have that kind of an environment and then now we are talking about Islamic financing. I just wonder whether you are going to bring this participation to uh, another level rather than the standard instruments that we have been used to replicate from conventional. Is there any move in this direction? Thank you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Professor Rapshi. Uh, um, a difficult question. Huh? <laughs> uh, when you ask something about future, <laughs> uh, you are asking the direction. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the innovation or uh, the uh, structure of uh, Islamic finance in Turkey is not ahead of the uh, practices in other countries. Uh, therefore, the direction will be same as the trend in uh, Malaysia, in uh, Gulf countries. Uh, actually, in Turkey, in Turkish history, in Ottoman history, uh, we have some uh, finance instruments uh, practiced by Ottomans, especially for government uh, borrowing. Here uh, in INSAIF, there's a Turkish professor, uh, Murat Cizakca. He says the roots of Sukuk is in Ottoman uh, times. Uh, there is Esham, Esham. Uh, similar to Sukuk, but there are differences. Maybe uh, first in theory, uh, some uh, scholars can pave its way and then can be practiced. But for the time being, the Sukuk Ijara 
you know is only one type of sukuk is only permissible in Turkey. You cannot apply the other types of sukuk as uh, sukuk istisna or sukuk uh, murabaha, not possible. Only sukuk ijara is possible. Thank, Thank you, Prof. Uh, what about our sisters? Do you all have any questions, please? Dr. Tanku? Yeah, please. No, uh, hold on. Dr. Tanku would like to ask a question. What's this? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I uh, would like to ask why is it not possible for other types of sukuk? Uh, to be issued out of Turkey, why only Sukuk Ijara? Mm. Uh, and the second one is, um, it is interesting to note that in, in Turkey, you actually differentiate between deposit, deposits and participation funds. And as uh, we know in Malaysia, we have recently, or in the process of uh, passing the new legislation for Islamic financial services, which actually differentiates between the Mudarabah account from the Wadi'ah account, which the Wadi'ah account is classified as deposits, and the Mudarabah and other forms of investment, um, so-called um, accounts, would be classified as investment and will be treated separately. Uh, so I would like to know the experience of Turkey when they classify it as participation fund, how mm. attractive it is, uh, mm. and how do you manage the, the shortfalls in the funds and things like that when it's being regulated as a bank. Uh, so interesting to know about that. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, what was the first one? First so, question. The first question: Why uh, is only why sukuk, only sukuk, why is only sukuk ijara? Why not the other ah, types? Yeah, yeah. What okay, are the? Okay, thank uh, you. Uh, actually, the, the reason is to be prudent. Uh, prudence is the reason. The uh, most uh, strong one. Uh, of Sukuk uh, is asset-based. You, you know also there is uh, asset, uh, as, there is asset-backed and asset-based. The strong one is asset-backed, not based, asset-backed Ijara. Therefore, Turkey started with the uh, strong one because in other uh, types of Sukuk there are some risks, uh, some uh, complications, etc. But uh, the asset backed uh, Sukuk Ijara is very clear, uh, perfect. Therefore, Turkey started with that one to be prudent.